Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to my house in a bottle survival tutorial. So this is a really really cool build as you can see here. You can see literally everything contained within this build. So you've got lots of storage and stuff, but let's come inside real quick and let's just take a little peek at what's inside. So we got the first floor here with the nice little bedroom, some chest storage and whatnot, nice little armor stand. Got this really cool unique staircase that works without having to jump. Second floor here, some storage and some furnaces. And then up top we have a nice little brewing room with an ender chest and then up at the tippity top we have a nice little cranny for a growery which is cool. We can grow lots of nether ward up there and I don't know it's just a really cool build. I think it's unique if you guys want to learn how to build it block by block step by step I show you how to build the exterior, interior and all that fun stuff. So without further ado let's get started. Alright, so to build your house in a bottle, you need to find the materials, one of my hot bar below. You can use any color of glass, cannot stress that enough. You don't need black glass, but black is what I chose to use here. You're going to want to make a pattern just like this, okay? So if you want to pause it and just make this right here, it's really, really simple, guys. It's literally just like three blocks. I'll put these here just for reference in case you're a little confused. Uh, you can just pause it here and make that shape. It's really easy, just three and then a corner and then three and then a corner. So I didn't figure I need to build that and I wanted to have it directly in the center of this little island. But we're going to start off by building this a total of 12 high. So we're going to go up, we're going to count the first block as block number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then you want to bring that entire cylinder up that many high. So it takes a little bit and yes it takes a lot of glass but you know it is survival friendly in the fact that it's not like super big at all and it, it's a really cool house to live in. Uh, not something you want a creeper to get near so maybe build a big old fence around it but it's a cool house right I mean if you built this on a server and lived in it it would be very unique and of course you can make it bigger or smaller as you please you can make it taller you could make it wider you could really do whatever you want I'm not gonna build the rest of it up this high on camera I'm gonna do that real quick off camera okay so you should end up with a nice cylinder just like this and that's pretty much the base of the house we're gonna go up here and we're gonna build a few more things right so we're gonna come in one block like this I know it's a little tricky to see with the shaders but trust me it'll all work out let me go Turn this on tiny. Sorry, we didn't get that perfect FPS for you guys, but now we got it. Okay, so we want to just build in these three blocks right here, right? And as you can see, this is where the nether wart farm is going to be housed. You don't build the corner blocks, only these right here, and you're going to end up with a square. And then let me see how many to build these up. So that's stop one, two, three, four. That's what I thought. I thought it was four, but I didn't want to build it wrong. So this is block number one, two, three, and then four. And you want to bring all those up. Not going to cut the camera here because it's a little short to do so. Although I might have to to see the next part because I don't want to walk or like fly all the way over there. You know what? Let's just do it. And then I believe, yes, it's just going to be those three blocks. And then we're going to need some quartz as well. And then you're also going to want a block that you can use for um, the lid or whatever on your bottle, your house bottle. I chose like a sport bottle sort of lid. Of course, that's not like mandatory whatsoever. You can literally do exactly what you'd want to do. It's not something like if you build it like that, it's going to be wrong. But as you can see, I placed one layer of quartz like that. And then I just filled in the middle and left the corners out. And then you can take any color. So I chose to use concrete, but you can really use whatever you want. But I chose this nice light blue color and I broke out the center block and I just brought it over like that and you essentially have your bottle lid. So that's pretty much your bottle. You could do whatever kind of bottle. You could do a wine bottle. You could do you know, a water bottle. This is more like a sport water bottle, something like that. And it's pretty cool, personally. I think it's cool. You wanna choose one of these sides to be the front of your house. I'm going to choose this one right here. And we're just going to break out these blocks right here, just these two. You wanna leave this bottom glass block for now. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the base of the build. So we're going to come in here and we're going to start by placing half slabs on the top half of that first block. And that's going to be the floor of your build. Let me get to the blueprints for the entrance real quick. Okay, right. So we're going to come in here. We're going to do one and then we're going to go out another one and then we're going to put a stair. And then next to it, we're going to just bring it up like that. And then you can on the corners, like see how I brought it down to the floor area. You can definitely do that as well. What I meant was like, I put this block down right there and then you could just take two fences like this and then you can connect them over like that. And then you can put a fence gate just so that nothing can sort of walk into your house, place the door from the inside. And then up top, I chose to use some stone slabs. Of course, something you could completely change. You could use spruce. I just thought it was a nice little, uh, a nice little different like material 
compared to like what we use. I don't know why I put that on the top block. It's gonna be on the bottom block. And as you can see, that entrance is pretty much complete. So you, and another thing you can do, completely optional, is cover this entire thing, remove these slabs, and this is what I chose to do for my entrance, break those corners, and then go up on the side right here. So it doesn't take much extra glass, but as you can see, it looks nice, and it makes it feel more like a glass bottle sort of house, which is cool. So we got a lot of empty room in here, so we're gonna wanna make the floors. Now it's a little tricky to like actually see the floor, so I'm gonna grab some cobblestone here and I'm just going to explain it as best as I can. So place one, two, three blocks like this, and then on the top half of this fourth block, you wanna place a slab, just like this. And that is essentially going to be your floors. Now the stair design in here is probably the hardest thing to design. Uh, or it was the hardest thing to design. It's insanely easy to build, However, it took me a long time to figure out. So well, we'll get to that in a moment. I'm just going to, for now, sort of build the floor. So one, two, and then three. And then on the top half of the fourth block, just place that slab. And you're gonna have a lot of floors in this build, right? I mean, it seems like it's kind of small, but you actually, you fill out the space pretty nice. And you can fill in the space with literally whatever you want. But I do show you how to build the interior that I have in that one right there. So we're gonna come up here. And then we have our final layer right here, which is cool. So there's actually going to be a little bit of a uh, you want to place on the top half of these blocks right here and this is going to be where your nether wart farm is we're gonna just leave it for now right here so like your soul sand will go right here and then your glowstone will go up here and it's actually pretty cool right like I mean it, it, it's really cool you'll obviously see it in a moment so let me just break all that stuff but you just want to build it build your topest your your highest your topest floor your highest floor on that block right there with the slabs and then you do uh, want to take some whole blocks right here and you just want to bring them down this is the only way that you can get a ladder to properly function so we're going to put a ladder right here and then we're just going to place another slab and then a ladder and it works fine it's a little funky it's like turn around or whatever but it works it definitely works okay so let's get down in the build and let's start let's start by designing these stairs because they are a little tricky right they're, they're just a wee bit tricky so we're going to put a whole block right here we're going to put a ladder and then we're going to put a stair right here and then another stair and then you see this spruce block right here we're gonna do the same thing we did at the very top we're just going to bring it down a half block like that and then place a ladder and you know you don't have to jump at all watch I'm just gonna hold down my forward key and look I can walk up the entire thing it's a really cool stair I haven't seen it used before but I'm sure at some point it's been used but uh, you want to build this stair opposite to the door on the first floor and then you want to build it on the opposite side on this floor for obvious reasons because you can't stack them very well that is one thing but now you have ways to get up in between the floors which is cool so let's start off by designing this bottom floor and we'll just work our way up so I'm gonna grab a those materials and I'll be right back okay so let's fly in here now it's a uh, there's no enchantment table in here unfortunately I know I couldn't really fit it I was going to but it would take up like a whole floor and if you wanted to do that you definitely could but it does take up a whole floor so I put a crafting table anvil and then a stair and then behind it I put a painting I put a okay it's not gonna work with me here we're gonna have to get a smaller painting just like that and then I put a pot and I actually didn't on the, on the other one I put a head but I'm gonna put a pot here we're gonna throw a blue orchid in it kind of a nice flower and then on the wall opposite to this little fascia thing right here I don't it's not actually a fascia it's a I forget the word a little little indent or something I put a bed two oak or two uh, spruce fence and then just some spruce trapdoors on top and then in the corner here completely aesthetic obviously in survival you may not want to waste your bookcases but if you're far enough into your world that you have some extra then feel free to do this and then I just put some torches right there I put a torch right there and some furnaces and I pretty much called it a day of course I took some carpet because I like to do carpet in this green color and I just sort of placed it randomly again without any sort of like pattern just something like that just make fills up the room makes it look a little bit better but yeah that's your first floor so let's grab the materials for the second and let's get started on the second floor also, something to note that if you wanted to do it, you completely could on this first floor. If you don't like how this bed takes up so much space and it's not as compact as you'd like, you can always put some uh, trap doors and a chest like this, and you can actually end up with something pretty cool, right? So it, it, it's more like enclosed, right? But you, you don't want to put that fence there. You could definitely, I mean, you could fill that in with whatever. You could put more crafting tables, but uh, obviously on that, on that third block, you can't. But you could do something like that as well if you'd want to. I don't know, just giving you some ideas for what you could do. You could even fit like a, oh, <laughs> you could even fit a chest right there with some trapdoors. It's really going to be up to you what you want to put in your build. And then you could put a stair upside down just so that it doesn't modify the second floor, but it makes it look a little more 
aren't connected. So there's tons of little things you could do here. Like in this corner, it was completely empty in the build, but you could add whatever you want. You could, for instance, throw an armor stand down. It's really up to you. Maybe you want to use this as sort of your coat check or whatever, and you want to leave all your fancy armor here when you come in your house because you don't want to lose durability. I'm not really sure what you'd use it for, but aesthetically, it's kind of pleasing. It looks cool. And then you could take something like an item frame, throw that above it, and then put your trusty old sword there. So let's just grab a sword. You know, we'll, we'll make it a gold sword just because no one actually uses those. But yeah, see what I mean? You can fill out these areas quite nice. So let's get to the second floor now. Oh, see, I came over here and I missed something, right? So you probably want the front of your build lit up a little bit. So all I did was stick a fence out and then a torch. So something like that. Oh, look at this flower too. Pretty cool. I didn't even know these flowers existed, guys. What is this? What is this white flower? What? What? I'm so... I am so confused. Maybe that's what dandelions do. Let me know in the comments, why is that? Why are some of them white and some yellow? I really don't know. Maybe when they bloom, they turn into that. Okay, but to the second floor, I got distracted, sorry. Okay, so this floor makes great use of space as well. So as you can see, we have these understair furnaces. We're gonna copy that and move it right there. Also on this wall, we're gonna put three furnaces like this, or furni, if you'd like to upset some people. <laughs> don't, don't ever say that in real life, because people be like, what is that? Okay, so we put some furnaces right there. We're gonna put two of these upside down stairs, and then we're just going to connect that top block there. Cool. Uh, we're going to turn to this opposite wall. We're going to do another little pot and a crafting table. Put whatever you want in it. My second favorite plant is cactus. Looks great in a pot. And then let's just put a little painting right there. And then some more double chests. And then, of course, do the same sort of thing you did with these stairs here. So do the upside down ones and just place those right there. And it looks pretty cool. So now you got some stairs and furnaces and whatnot. Um, right here, we're going to put two chests. And then we're going to line them up with some spruce trap doors like this. And then we're just going to take some stairs and do the upside down little trick. And then you're pretty much done with this floor except for some carpet. So let's grab some of this green carpet. Trust the old green carpet and just place it in some sort of randomized pattern. It shouldn't fill up the whole floor, but it should look somewhat random. So something like that is perfect. And yes, the stairs are still fully functional with those trap doors there. In fact, that chest actually helps you because it makes it where you can't just walk off. Oh, what? Okay, maybe you can. Okay, I forget that you can float through what oh the carpet i see so the carpet blocks you but then if there's no carpet cool okay anyways get distracted here but that is your second floor of course you can customize it how you like but we do need chest storage and a survival build so let's go up to the third and final floor let's just get this out of the way because i know how it looks and i was so happy that it turned out like this because i did not when i build like an interior i'm not playing or when i build a build i'm not planning the interior like like before i actually do anything i just see what fits and I built this little nook up top and it literally fit what I love to build. It is one of these farms and ooh, it is oh, it's just so perfect guys. It really is. You just take your glowstone, your nether wart. You don't have to actually have glowstone and uh, you could fit some other crop up here. I'm sure you can break out those corners, put some water blocks or put one water block in the corner and then put something else. But I thought it looked cool with these, uh, this soul sand up here and it's kind of nice. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of nether wart grow. So pretty cool. Again, just soul sand, nether wart and then glowstone up top. So let's come down here and let's design this floor right here. All right, so I've grabbed all the proper materials here, just headed up to the third floor, and uh, let's get started on it. It's a pretty cool floor, and you can fit a lot of stuff in here, but first and foremost, put all these chests here, because the top ones go open because you have glass, and they fit literally perfectly right there. So I like those chests right there. Gonna put a little bit of a table here with some oak stairs. Gonna put two brewing stands on top. We're gonna put a cauldron right here. Obviously, you wanna fill that cauldron with water. Um, I'm gonna take some item frames, and then above all these things, just sort of, oh, I already have the item frames, so we'll just put those right here. So I put a bottle of water above the cauldron for obvious reasons. You fill up water right there. Maybe this one you wanna do like drink potions, maybe do splash potions there, not really sure. But uh, something like that's pretty cool. And then there's not much else you can fit on that wall, but right here I chose to do two chests and then an ender chest up top. And then I took some trap doors made of spruce, and then I just sort of filled them in right here. So that takes up that third middle block. And then I just put a nice little stair right here and then just put some aesthetic stuff. So obviously if you want some more uh, things in your build, you can add them. I'm not really sure what else you want to put in here, but if you have something you want to put in here instead of making it look a little nicer, go ahead and do it. Not going to hate you or anything. Completely up to you what you want to make the build into. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to take some carpet here. We're going to finish off this build, but oh yeah, right here, there's going to be so there's going to be a chest right here as well. So don't forget about that. Now you have another little extra chest. 
Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it in the future, click the subscribe button. You get notified when I upload. I really hope you guys like this house in a bottle concept. I think it's interesting. I did forget the carpet, so I'll do that while I talk about the outro. But yeah, I mean, a house in a bottle, like, I mean, I'm sure it's been done before, but not in this sense, like a survival sense, I don't think. I haven't really checked, but, you know, I, I just, you know, if it has happened before, that's okay. I made my own version. Hopefully it doesn't look like anyone else's, but it's a pretty cool concept, and it'll impress a lot of people. I mean, if you built this and lived in it, and you know made it a little bigger maybe if you want to but look at it I mean, it just looks cool that you can see the entire house on the outside obviously not a good factions base the complete opposite of a factions base made of glass and yeah no wouldn't be a good idea but I really liked how it turned out it's got a nice little sport bottle lid you could do whatever you want you could put a cork up there or something but yeah if you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more click the subscribe button I've made lots of videos lots and lots of videos so if you guys want to go on my channel and check any of these builds out you see here you can definitely find them on my channel but uh, yeah I'd like to thank you guys a final time for watching if you're curious about the shader pack texture pack any of that fancy stuff is all going to be down in the description below if you leave a comment on this video i'll be sure to reply that's something new i'm trying to reply to every single comment and so far this far it's worked for about a month and a half almost two months so that's a lot of comments probably like 2,000 comments i've replied to so it's nice to interact with my fans and it's kind of cool to talk to you guys and get ideas from you and uh this might even been a user suggestion and i didn't realize it i'm not even sure but if it was thank you for whoever suggested this but yeah thank you guys a final final time for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye